it. Ooh, it. You want to come on up here? <laughs> Look, I look this way in the mic. Oh, boy.
That's right, St. John's. You can put those hands together.
said, God is God, and he won't change. Oh, God, yes, he is. Doctor, and he won't change. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, God is the doctor, and he won't change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can do what he did before. Yes, he, he will. Yesterday and forevermore. a lawyer and he won't change no he won't change all God is a lawyer and he won't change he can do again what he did before he's the same yesterday and forevermore Change. I said, God, He's love, and He won't change. about you but God he's my provider and he won't change oh yes he is God my provider and he won't Just believe him and he won't change. 
You just got to believe in God. It's a blessing to know someone who does not change. Lord, have mercy. No matter what day it is, no matter whether it's raining and the sun is shining, God does not change. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. You can trust him. Yes, you can. Lord, have mercy. And he's a God that meets us where we are. So we are blessed, beloved, amen, to have this day being the day that the Lord God has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Thank God for your presence. We thank God for our listening audience, that the Lord God may continue to bless you as well. Beloved, we've come to praise the Lord, and so if you're able to stand, we ask that you please stand with us as we praise God from whom all blessings flow. called to worship this morning. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. For a day now, of course, is better than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the course of our God. O oh Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. But the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All the earth sing his praises. Yes, praise the Lord. And let us do so, beloved, by singing our opening hymn this morning. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Let me at thy throne of mercy find a sweet relief. Kneeling there in deep contrition, help my unbelief. Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. Yes. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Without any further lining of this morning's hymn, please join with the choir as we sing with open hearts, Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior.
this. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. Glory. Hallelujah to you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah to you, Jesus. Lord, we come into your house, Father God, just saying thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for another day, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, for a God that never changes. Thank you, Lord God, for helping us, Lord Jesus, for healing us, Father God, Lord Jesus, for making a way out of no way, Lord God. We praise you this morning, Lord God. We honor you, Lord. We come into this house saying thank you, Jesus. We rejoice, Father God, for you are God and God alone, and there is none like you, Father God. I reverence you, Lord Jesus. We lift you up, Lord God. We give you all the praises, Father God, for you are God. And there is none like you, Lord Jesus. None like you, Father God, creator of heaven and earth. Lord, I just praise you, Jesus, just for another day to get it right, Lord God. We may not have gotten it right yesterday, but God, you're giving us an opportunity to get it right on this day. And for this, we praise you right now, Lord God. We thank you right now, Lord God, that every need in this house is met, Lord God. Lord Jesus. Bless as only you can, Father God. Heal our hearts, Father God. Yes. Heal our children, Lord God, and bring them back to the church, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Help us to be concerned for the things that concerns you, Father God, in everything that we do, Jesus. Bless the man of God, Lord Jesus. As always, bless him, Father God, Lord Jesus. Let him bring a word, Father God, for us all, Lord God. Let us focus on you, Lord Jesus, in the word, Father God, being brought forth in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, we just praise you. Right. God, if I had a million tongues, I couldn't even thank you enough. You've been just that good, Lord God. When I look back over my life, <laughs> I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. I will not be ashamed to praise you. We will not be ashamed to praise you. We come into this house, Lord to praise and worship you. So God, I thank you in Jesus Christ's name that as we move forward on this day in this service, Father God, that everything we do be about you, Father God, that you be glorified, Lord. You do so much for us, Father God. Let us give it back unto you. Let us praise you. Let us worship you, Lord God, in spirit and in truth, Father God. Lord God, I cover everyone in the blood of Jesus Christ in this church, Father God. Those in the listeners' audience, Father, I cover them in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, that you protect them, that you not allow any hurt, harm, evil, danger, accidents, rape, victimizations, robbery, shootings, attacks. No, nothing to come near around their dwellings, but only your spirit to come near and around them, Father God. And for this, we praise you, Father God. We honor you, Lord Jesus, for there is none like you in all the earth, Father God. So, God, I just praise you. God, I love you, Lord. You're an awesome God, amazing God. And for this, we praise you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, amen, amen.
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Good morning. I'll be reading 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14, and also 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 5. The word says, As for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God, and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and in view of his appearing in his kingdom, I solemnly urge you, proclaim the message, be persistent, whether the time is favorable or unfavorable, convince rebuke and encourage with the utmost patience in teaching for the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine but have itching ears they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own desires and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away to myths as for you always be sober endure suffering do the work of an evangelist carry out your ministry. Amen. 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 <clears throat> if you would, please stand for the deck law. From all that dwells below the skies. Decalogue. Hear what Christ our Savior, Savior saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Glory, Patria. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Beloved, we continue to give God praise and thank the Lord God for all that he has done and all that the Lord God is doing. Amen. I know life has its challenges, but I'm just excited to see and to know that God is God and God is at work. 
Amen. Yes, he is. He's at work in his creation, his creatures. Lord, have mercy. The Lord God is moving in ways that's beyond our understanding, exceedingly and abundantly, above all that we could ask or think according to the power that works on the inside. My soul is rejoicing in the Lord. The God who cannot fail, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The God that's in charge of all time and all things. Yes, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we will continue to grow and be able to say, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Lord have mercy. You talk about a God that can build a house. Amen, because if God doesn't build it, amen, it's nothing but sinking sand. So hallelujah. Nothing like having a strong, solid foundation. Yes. The storms may come, the wind may blow, but Lord, have mercy. If your foundation is on Jesus the rock, the solid rock that I stand, beloved, amen, you can continue to stand and see the salvation of the Lord. I don't know when you're going to do it, God. I don't know how you're going to do it, God. But I do have a blessed assurance that you're going to do it. Lord, have mercy. You don't know like I know what God has done. And what the Lord God is yet doing. Amen. Oh, for his glory. For we were created to give God praise. Amen. That's why it says, let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. That's why he told the disciples, if those don't praise me, the rocks are going to cry out, Lord, have mercy. Amen. As we keep our minds stayed on the Lord, he will keep us in a perfect peace, a peace that truly surpasses all understanding. We learn to cast our cares and anxieties upon the Lord because God cares so intimately for us. He's an intimate God. He's relational. And so we bless him on this day. Amen. The Lord God just continue to be glorified in our hearts, beloved, and in our midst. We giving those cares to God right now. Amen. Those words, those fears, those anxiety that's pondering your minds when your mind is everywhere but where it should be. Right. Amen. We take every thought captive, bringing it to the obedience of Christ. Giving us ears to hear and eyes to see all for the glory of God. The Lord is doing great and mighty things. Beloved, we thank God that he's allowed us to be here. Amen. Yeah, one more time. Right. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. May we not forget the days and the times when the doors of the church was closed. Lord, have mercy. You know, we drop things quickly. Amen. Forgetting about the goodness of God. And then we have a tendency to hold on to the very things we should be letting go. Lord, have mercy. Right. <laughs> awesome God and worthy to be praised. Beloved, we know that uh, voting is right around the corner. And we are just blessed to be able to have the privilege to be able to do that. Amen. Our AME alert for the Northwest Alabama Conference. And we have dates, that information, amen, is available. We'll send it out also through email that we are mindful of the privilege that the Lord God has given us to be able to vote. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. And we thank, we're thankful for those that have gone on before us who've uh, made it possible you know, grandparents, great-grandparents, uh, so that God could be glorified. And for that, we are so thankful. There are many things that are transpiring in our church, and we're grateful for that. Uh, ministries are being renewed. Ministries are um, giving them birth. We th we're thankful for that. Uh, Brother Jeff has an announcement regarding uh, magic, the classic. Uh, praise the Lord so as he prepares to come. Uh, to be able to, to share that. Uh, we're going to have a, a quick church conference uh, after worship service. You have given me probably about a good 10 to 12 minutes. So those of you that are able to stay, we do 
um, ask that you would please remain with us just as I share different things about the church, the ministries that the Lord God is trying to bring forth, amen, all for his glory. Sister Jackie, do you have your testimony for today? Praise the Lord, amen. Be ye ready after the announcement. Hallelujah. Any other testimonies? Uh, we ask that you would prepare your hearts to share. Morning, St. John. Amen. Heard there's a little football game coming up in two weeks. Amen. But with the Magic City Classic, there's also going to be a parade in the morning. Two years ago, well, for two years we haven't been able to, but the two years prior, we were able to give out hot dogs, like during the parade, before the parade. So this year we're going to give out 2,000 Nathan's hot dogs during the parade. So if you want to guess what. 2,000 hot dogs look like. They, uh, they weigh just a little bit more than me, just like as a point of reference. So uh, what we're going to do, the parade starts at 8 o'clock. So we're going to be here at 6 for anybody that wants to help. We're going to start grilling them. 2,000 Nathan's hot dogs, that, they go quicker than you would think. But our hope is that people are confused why we're giving them away for free. I know that we've had people that walk up that are confused. They don't understand why we're doing it. But you know what? That's okay. I don't want them to be expecting anything. See, every time somebody gives something to somebody, they expect something from the other person. But we don't, we don't want that. We just want them to walk away and wonder, what's up with that? We also want to have the bathrooms open because nowhere else around here has any bathrooms open. So not only are we going to feed people, but we're also going to be able to give them a place to, to rest, to get, get a drink. So if you'd like to join us, join us at 6 in the morning on the 29th. We'll start grilling. The parade starts at 8. But the way it goes is everything around here is surrounded by kids, by adults. It's, uh, it's a fun time, for sure. Thank you. I hope to see you there. Good morning, church. How are y'all? My name is Jackie Wilson. Um, I haven't been coming here long. Um, I found out about this church through my friend, um, Michelle. Um, I get nervous. I'm, I'm a people person and I talk in front of people all the time, but when I have a mic and all eyes are on me, I get nervous. And the crazy thing is I actually used to be a flight attendant, so. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm truly thankful for being here and I'm thankful for Pastor Sterling for um, believing in me. Um, this Me Meet Michelle came at um, a pretty good time. I'm a business owner, so I was struggling and I ended up getting a job with another company for a time being. And recently, I decided to donate a kidney to a friend. Well, in donating a kidney, my recovery time was gonna be six to eight weeks, and y'all know that's a month and a half to two months. So I said, okay, Lord, if this is what you have for me, then make a way. Um, to close down my business for two months, you know, that's a lot. Um, I started, Michelle invited me to do the prayer call in the morning. So I started getting on the prayer calls in the morning. And then I started, you know, just talking and praying to God more. And I've always grown up in the church, but you know, sometimes you just, you go your own way and do your own thing. But there's always something that brings you back. So she said, hey, well, just get on the prayer calls. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to say anything. You know, just even if you're laying in the bed, put it on speakerphone, put it on mute, you know, just lay there and listen to the prayer. Well, in listening to the prayers, you know, I ended up getting up, ended up praying with everybody. I'm pacing. I'm in this. <laughs> um, and one day I just ended up telling them about what I was going through and needed some prayer, needed some guidance, and then, Lord, if this is not what you have for me, shut it down. Thank you. Along the way, um, my recipient has been looking for a kidney for a little over a year. I didn't know my blood type. I didn't have a doctor. I didn't have, I mean, there was, I was really at ground zero. So as I started to pray and got them involved, 
I met a lady, um, a doctor out in Trustville, and you don't have to have insurance to go to her because I don't have insurance. It was costing me too much. So I paid my little $70, and they say, you know, come to find out. I did all my testing. Everything came back perfect, and we were a blood match. So right. <laughs> ended up going a few weeks later over to Emory in Atlanta and getting the testing done for that. I got the testing back from that. They said your blood pressure is a little high, but you get clearance from us to go ahead. Amen. About a month and a half from then, I get another phone call from Emory saying all the blood work, because they took 18 vials of blood for this donation. They, any and every testing you can imagine, they did it. So um, Emory called me back and said, we are a positive blood match, a positive cross match. Everything has been great. Just watch your weight and watch your, um, your blood pressure. So we have a donation date. My surgery date will be November the 11th. So everything is great. Um, the last piece of the puzzle was the money and closing down the business. Um, I had a client that's been with me basically from the beginning when I had a little bitty office to where I am now on the south side. And he called me and said, you've been on my mind and I wanna help you. So he asked me, how much is your rent for your office? So I told him, he said, okay. How about I pay for November and December? But I said, you don't have to do that. Why do you even want to do that? He said, you're making a sacrifice for somebody else. God has been good to me, and I want to make a sacrifice for you. I said, okay. I said, well, I'm working on November's rent right now, and I won't close until November the 9th, two days before my surgery. So you don't have to worry about November. If you'll just cover December and January, those will be the two months that I'm out. He said, don't even worry about it. I want to pay it forward. I'll pay November, December, and January. So everything. God has been faithful. Right. He has been, he has been outstanding. Yes. And the crazy thing is, like I told Michelle yesterday, I've lost friends during this. I haven't even really talked to my parents during this. They haven't even asked me anything about the journey but it's okay because sometimes people need to be removed and God is his responsibility. I'm his child. I may be their birth child, but I am his and his alone. Pastor, you have, I've told you this. He asked me to pray on the prayer line one morning and I told him no because I was really nervous and I really didn't think I was worthy. But I listened to somebody else's sermon and they said it was about service. And sometimes people see in you what you don't see in you. Amen. So I had to apologize to him and I apologize to the Lord. So standing right here, even though I'm nervous, I did not want to let you down. Right. I didn't want to let God down and Amen. I didn't want to let me so thank you. Thank you.
glory. Beloved, we never know. Hallelujah. It's the church, it's the body of Christ reaching out to one another, to our sons and to our daughters of the faith. And Sister Jackie, I love all of your testimony because I know it's God. Specifically when you said, sometimes we just go our own way. But God's love is always a redeeming love. Never doubt God's love for you and the purpose that he has for your life. Thank you, Father. And she ministered to us by saying that it was about serving. Unfortunately, many times we want to be served. But that's not what Jesus said. Jesus said, I did not come to be served, but to serve. That's the life of Christ. And that's who he has called us to be. Beloved, we grow in the revelation that it's not about titles. It really isn't. It's about the heart that God has given us to serve. It's not about your educational achievements. Whatever we have achieved, it's still by the grace of God. Nothing but by the grace of God. Paul says, I am who I am by the grace of God. <clears throat> Beloved, it is so humbling. It's unfortunate that over the years, many times we've treated the church like it was a social organization instead of a spiritual organism. You know how those of us that are in fraternities and sororities, that how we can look down on others. The Lord says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. That we're here to serve one another. We don't mind picking up paper off the floor. We don't want to ever be heard saying, but I'm not a trustee. That very piece of paper, if you step on it the wrong way, it can call a slippage. So just be mindful that we are created to serve, to praise God, and that God's church should be a reflection of who he is. Loving, merciful, repenting, gentle. That's who God has called us to be. We're not perfect but we're striving through the power of God's grace and mercy to be all that God has called us to be. Amen. And beloved, it is all for his glory. When we rejoice, we give our testimonies, then we all rejoice. When we're saddened by things, then we're all are saddened because we're the church. But we know God is faithful to be there with us and to always bless us. Now, beloved, is all I can think about that you can't be God's giving, even as Sister Jacket was sharing, praise God. But it's the time in our worship experience where we offer up our tithes, our offerings, and our benevolent gifts, and that God will continue to be glorified. We have many ways to give, and we're grateful for the platforms, Givelify, PayPal, Cash App, mailing them in, bringing them in, and bringing the tithes into the storehouse. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over what God calls man to give unto us as we now lift up our tithes and our offerings unto the Lord. Beloved, if you've paid through the different platforms, amen, just lift up your hands before God. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you so much 
for blessing us to be a blessing. Lord, we ask that you receive these tithes, offerings, and benevolent gifts for the upbuilding of your kingdom. Help us to be good stewards, Lord God, that there be no lack. We praise and we worship and magnify you because you are truly God and you're God alone. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen and amen. And beloved, we are grateful um, that we had uh, different members of the church to serve amen on our services today so we praise god for sister michelle knight we thank god for you we praise the lord for brother isaiah roberts and may the lord god just continue to bless and if there are those of you who desire to uh, serve on the services by all means let us know and we'll see where the lord will place you amen and amen
Father, we thank you. We cast all insecurities aside. Not only did you make us, but we are wonderfully and beautifully made in your sight. Hallelujah. Thank you for the peace of knowing that, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Father, we continue to bless you and to praise you. Thank you for this moment in time, Lord Jesus. Thank you for meeting the needs of your people. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart continue to be acceptable in your sight, my rock and my redeemer. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. Yes. For all that you've done, God, and all that you continue to do. Hallelujah to you, Jesus. Bless your people, Lord God, as only you can. Lord, there's something about just being in the house. Lord, have mercy. And because your word and your presence is not bound, Lord God, that you reach, O oh God, into the homes, O oh God, that are listening, Lord God, through technology, live streaming. Lord, we thank you. Lord, there have been times I've been told, Lord God, that people will say, it's just like I was there. Such a mystery. So beyond our understanding. But Lord, we thank you for the gathering, the church. We know you're here. Because your word tells us where two or more are gathered together in your name, there you are in the midst. Oh, we bless you, Father. Some have already been blessed immeasurable by a peace that surpasses all understanding. Some of the thoughts that we came in with God, they are no longer there. Lord, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Now, Lord, I stand because you've chosen me. And for that, I give you praise. I give you honor, Lord God, and I give you the glory. Have your way, Holy Spirit. From your servant, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Beloved, in the name of Jesus, I'll be ministering out of Luke, the 18th chapter. Luke, the 18th chapter. And we come to understand the importance of prayer. But we don't always pray the way we should pray. Sometimes we give up on God as if God cannot answer prayers. Sometimes we say to the Lord, well, I know you've done it for Sister Jackie, but Lord, I, I don't know if you'll do that for me. Oh, have mercy. But God is able. And beloved, Luke, the 18th chapter, talks about a lady who went to God, who went to a judge, and he was unrighteous in his ways. But she gives us a lesson in prayer. And it says, and he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Give me justice against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterwards he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she will not beat me down by her continual coming. And the Lord said, hear what the unrighteous judge says. And will not God give justice to his elect, 
who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? For our subject today, we want to talk about praying and don't lose heart. Pray and don't lose heart. Pray and don't lose heart. The Bible talks about several persons who found themselves praying, glory to God, but persevered in their prayers. God tells us that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Abraham staggered not at the promises of God but was fully persuaded that God was able to do what God said he would do. Jacob found himself a man in a battle, but he would not let go until he was blessed. Lord, have mercy. Then we have Elijah, who prevailed in prayer when there was no sign of rain. He told him, go again seven times. Beloved, we find that even in our text today, that this lady knew something about getting her way. The Bible lets us know that uh, she was in a certain city and the judge did not fear God and he didn't respect man. In other words, there are times we find ourselves in situations and people will say to us, well, who do you think you are? But there is something about when we cry out to God day and night. There is something about when we persevere. In other words, don't give up on God. Yes, we know man will disappoint us. But when you find yourself in a situation and nobody hears your cry, nobody understands what you're going through, beloved, there is a God who hears our prayers. But sometimes we put God on a timetable. Abraham did that, but God still brought to pass God's will and God's purpose. When we understand and have the confidence of knowing that this is the will of God in our prayers and God hears us, God will deliver in time. I don't know about you, but I found myself in situations and I wanted to say, when, Lord? I found myself in situations that, Lord, I'm praying all that I know to pray. But what I did not understand that God was using the waiting to mold me into his image. You see, oftentimes we cry out to God because we want our lives better. But not knowing that there's a process in getting to the other side. But when you're praying to the God that created the heavens and the earth, then you learn to continue to stand that even if you find yourself standing by yourself. Oh, the Lord hears our prayers. The Lord answers our prayers. Uh, amen. There's even a, a story in the Bible, amen, when the prayers went forth, but the prayers were delayed or the answer was delayed because there was war in the heavenlies. And God had to send Michael to assist in bringing the answer. Oh, beloved, I know some of you want to give up. But the Lord says, don't be weary in well-doing for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. How many of you are sick and tired of your situation? Yes, hallelujah. I can remember just a little story here where a lady came to me. And she said, Pastor, she said, I'm really about to get out of this situation. It was regarding a marriage. And I said to her, she said, I've been travailing a long time, but it does not seem like this is the will of God. I said, so you after 10 or plus years of praying for your husband to be saved and to start coming to church, you want to give up. I said, some lady going to come by and shake your hand and say to you, thank you for praying for your husband to be saved. So when you give him up, somebody is standing there waiting for that blessed man that you've been praying for all of these years. And she looked at me. And that brother ended up in church. God is able to bring things to pass. But sometimes our prayers, James, they are selfish. 
In other words, you want, we want things to be better for us, but we don't want the manifestation of God in the person's life. But if our prayers are that they be saved, then salvation is going to bring some peace in your house. Yes, salvation is going to cause us to line up and be all that God has called us to be. Pray, beloved, and don't lose heart. Because the heart is such, Lord, have mercy. It can become weary. But when you call upon the name of the Lord, when you find that you're praying that nothing is too hard for God, when you find yourself reading in John that says that at the name of Jesus, whatever you ask in my name, Lord, have mercy, I will do it. Mark says, have faith in God and speak to the mountains in your life. Speak to the mountains and believe that they're going to be removed. Don't doubt within your heart, but be encouraged that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ask a thing. Sister Jackie didn't know that God was going to bring her in the path of a mission. Ah, oh, but over time, God made all things beautiful. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You don't hear me. God is able. God is willing. There's the power of God that is present. I'm reminded of the man at the pool of Bethesda who had been there 38 years, a long time. And when Jesus showed up, the water had been stirring, but he started talking about the reasons why. And all the Lord wanted to know, but do you want to be healed? <laughs> do you want to continue to stand on the power of my word as I'm molding and making you so that I can be glorified in your situation? You see, because God has not given his glory to anybody. All the glory, all the honor, and all the praises will go to God. The lady said, give me justice against my adversary. Lord, I really need you to deliver me out of this situation. But for a while, he refused. God is looking to see, why are you petitioning me? Are you following me just because your belly can be fed? Or you want the true and the living God that you can receive bread from heaven? The Lord, I say, search my heart, God. And the text says that he didn't fear God and he didn't respect man. But because she kept bothering him. In other words, sometimes we don't even need to say to the Lord, it's me, Lord. The Lord says, I know you because you've been calling on me. I see that you believe that I'm able to fix your situation. I see that you really believe that I'm a true and a living God. I see that you have faith and I know that you're able to move mountains. And he says, but I'm answering you now in ways that's beyond your understanding. He said, I'm going to show you some things that you've never seen before. That when you go into the sanctuary, when you go into the congregation, you will be able to tell people, I serve a true and a living God. I know that my Redeemer lives because he redeemed me out of the pit of clay. He set my feet upon a rock. And it's a solid rock that I will stand. Beloved, I used to interact with a friend and we had a way of always talking about our situations. But finally we came into agreement. We can talk about it three times. Oh, that noise getting on my nerves. <clears throat> God gives us a listening ear. Ah, oh, week passing. Oh, that, that situation really getting on my nerves. Come around a month later. Ah, oh, that situation, huh? Oh, it's getting on my nerves. 
Psalm number four, hallelujah, praise the Lord. We thank God that, Lord God, that you've heard our prayer, you've heard our petition. Lord God, we're not murmuring and we're complaining, but we've done all that we know to do, God. We've talked about it over and over. We keep giving life to that, Lord God, but we hadn't prayed. So now, God, we're praying, we're believing you, Lord God, that nothing is too hard for you, Lord God. We know, God, that your word is still powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword, able to divide the bone and the marrow, the intents and thoughts of the heart. Lord God, is the confidence that we have, God, whatever we ask, God, according to your word, in your mighty name, God, we know that it's done. And then we would come around and say, man, things have already changed. The Lord says, I was just waiting for you to, to, to start telling your problems about me instead of telling me about your problems. Lord, have mercy. When we start speaking to the mountains uh, according to the word of God uh, and don't lose heart, then God will move. Yeah. Hallelujah, because he's God. I've seen him put food on folks' table and clothes upon their back. I've seen him bring healing to their bodies and their minds and their soul. I, I've seen God reconcile. I've seen him raise up dead marriages and, and set it upon a solid rock for the glory of God. Pray and don't lose heart. People all around you will say that uh, you've been in that situation long enough. Ah, but man that doesn't understand the God that we're serving. If I, you, I would not be in that situation, but you're not me, and you know, know the God that I serve, that God is answering it, and God is bringing it to pass for his glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the Lord says, hear what the unrighteous judge says. And will not God, now this is the unrighteous judge talking, the one that does not fear God nor respect for man. Now he's saying, will not God give justice to his elect, Lord have mercy, who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will give justice to them speedily nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? For we walk by faith and not by sight. We're not moved by what we see, but we only move by that which we know. That we are able to boldly declare, as First John says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Job, though you slay me, yet will I praise you. Come on, somebody. We pray without ceasing. We pray morning, noon, and night. We call upon the name of the Lord in the wee-wee hours of the night when nobody knows what's going on. And we should be in the bed or sleep, but we're looking up at the ceiling. We say, Lord God, where are you, Lord? He says, I'm here. My presence is with you. I am that I am. I know your needs even before you ask. Beloved, don't give up on the promises of God in your life. Because every promise of God is yea and amen to those that believe. We have an adversary that goes around seeking whom he may devour. But we belong to an awesome God. We belong to a great God. We belong to a God that can still do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask to think. We serve a God that can save households. We serve a God that can make a way that seems to be no way. I'm, I've heard that he's the lily of the valley. I, I heard that he's the bright morning star. I've heard that he's the way maker where there seems to be no way. I'm, 
I heard that he's able to save those that call upon his name. He says that I will not cast you out, but I will save you and give you abundant life. <clears throat> I heard that the same God, Lord, have mercy came to the earth and bore my sins upon himself. I heard they nailed him to an old rugged cross. But I also heard that he told them, go ahead and crucify me. Go ahead and nail me to the cross. Go ahead. I know you don't understand. But Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And I heard you tell them, Jesus, destroy this body. Go ahead and lay me in a borrowed tomb. Go ahead and put the stone. But on the third day, I shall arise with all power and all authority in my hands. Glory to God. I came so that you may live and have a life more abundantly. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. Yes, glory to God. Pray. 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 Call on the name of Jesus. The name that God has exalted above all names. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Don't lose heart. Believe that you've got a God that's able and willing. Right. Hallelujah. Right. When folks say to you it doesn't make sense, yes. let them know, you know you're right. Because I'm learning to trust him with all of my heart. I'm learning to lean not to my own understanding. I'm learning to acknowledge him in all thy ways. Hallelujah, Lord. You see, he opened my eyes this morning. And he told me it was a new day. He says, the day that you have to go in and fellowship with my sons and my daughters. I said, Lord, I'll go as long as you go with me. Lord, I'll share your word, Lord God, as you shared it with me, Father. Lord, I thank you that God is able, beloved. No matter what situation you may find yourself in, are we praying? Are we becoming weary? Is it taking too long? What God had promised that Jesus would come and it was 42 generations that he finally came. Just like God said he would. Come on, somebody. God says, I know the plans that I have for you. <laughs> plans to bless you and not harm you and give you an expected end. See, we don't understand. We're still growing and asking God to help us with some of the mysteries of God. Oh. Think about a God that can wash away all of your sins. And then he says they're in the sea of forgetfulness as far as the east is from the west. Now we know sometimes people will hold us in our past. But Jesus paid the price for your past. <laughs> and he's got a plan for your future. He says, I have not seen, ear has not heard, the things that God has in store for those who love him. Do you love him, beloved? If you love Jesus, tell him how much you love him. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. You heard my cry. Yes, hallelujah, Lord. When I didn't know what was going to happen on my sick bed, you heard me, Lord. 
Lord, when my, my spouse left me, God, I didn't know how I was going to eat and pay the bills, but you kept me, Lord. Jesus, you kept me, Lord. Has anybody been kept by the Lord? Hallelujah. He'll keep you. Yes, he's a refuge in the time of trouble. Yes, hallelujah. Have you ever been in a situation when your loved one transitioned to be in the very presence of God and you found yourself all alone? Yes, but then God said to you, you're never alone. I'm always with you. One day, you'll be back with him. Hallelujah, Lord. He says, because when I come, that those who died in Christ, they're going to come with me in the cloud. And those of you that remain will be caught up glory with me yes Lord hallelujah Lord Jesus thank you God for the hope of glory thank you Lord for the power of the resurrection thank you Lord for saving us God by your grace but it's so amazing and your mercy Lord God uh, that none of us, hallelujah, Lord God, uh, can do anything about but you give it, God, uh, because you're God. Yes. yes, hallelujah, Father. We praise him because he's worthy right. of praise. And we praise you from the rising of the sun, Lord God, to the setting of the same, Lord God, that your name may be praised among those that may not even know you, God. We praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. We magnify your name, Jesus. 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 There's something about uh, that name, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, who is this King of glory? Lift up your head, so ye gates, be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord mighty in battle. He is your God. We are the people of God. And we bless you. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory. 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 Yes, glory, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. He's come to free us. He's come to give us life and to give it more abundantly. For he is our God and we are the sheep of his pasture. We belong to him and nothing can pluck us out of his hands. No longer shall we fear. Only God shall we we don't fear the world. We don't fear what the enemy can attempt to do us. 
because it just won't work. Jesus. 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 Oh, we bless your name. Glory, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you just call on him, he will save you. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. As the doors of this great church are open, The only name that man can be saved is the name of Jesus. Amen. He who has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Will you receive this precious gift of salvation? Yes. Where you can receive a peace that surpasses all understanding and a joy that's unspeakable where all of your sins are on the cross and the new life in the resurrection and the power of God and his spirit as the doors are open if there be one we bid you to come Praise Jesus, blessed Savior. Oh yeah, you were Oh, let's say that again. I said, Jesus, oh praise Him, Lord. Yes. Praise him. Praise him. Praise Thank him. You, Jesus. Praise Thank you, Jesus. 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 Bless his Don't Savior. Oh, you were there. Oh, yeah. Praise. If you're looking for a church home, the doors of St. John are open. Thank you, Jesus. We bid you to come. Unto the name of the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, you are to. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Savior, I should say, He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Sister Jackie Wilson comes to become a part of St. John AME Church.
<laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord. The Lord says, if he be lifted up, he will add to the church. Bless you, beloved. We give God praise for you. We've heard your testimony. We know that God is with you. Amen. And we're going to lift up a prayer on your behalf. Amen. Thank you, Father. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for Sister Jackie even now. That you will continue, Lord God, to fill her with the hope of glory. Lord, you'll do for her what no one else can do. Father, we thank you and we ask that you continue to bless her by your spirit, Lord God. That you continue to be glorified in Jesus' name. Father, continue to fill her afresh with the power of the Holy Ghost, God. Lord, we thank you, we honor, we bless you because you are God and you're God Almighty. Thank you, Father, for the surgery, Lord God. As she gives, Lord God, as you've given her. Lord, we pray that all will go well. We pray for the doctors. We pray for anesthesiologists. We pray for the recovery, the healing. Lord, we thank you for covering her and covering the recipient in the blood of Jesus. Blessed by your spirit, Father. Oh, God, we thank you. Lord, she's already started working. Lord God, she's working with the plants. She's transplanting them, Lord God, and coming, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for truly there are other things, but we don't despise small beginnings. We bless you, Lord, and we give you praise. Now bless your God by the power of your word and your spirit. Receive the power of the spirit of the Lord. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Amen and hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Oh, won't he do it? Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, have mercy. To yes, he is. Lord, have yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to you, Father. We bless you. We thank you, Lord God, for moving in ways that's beyond our understanding. Souls are being saved and lives are being transformed right before our very eyes. Because the very presence of God is in here. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, hallelujah. Glory, we give you praise. We honor, we bless you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Lord Jesus, and we believe, amen, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sit it on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence it shall come the judge, the quick, and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the church universal, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow.
Now, Father, as we prepare to leave this place, but never your presence, Lord God, help us to pray and to not lose heart. When we know not what to pray, may your spirit make intercessions with groanings that cannot, Lord God, be uttered. Father God, on this day, Lord God, as we remember, Lord God, domestic violence, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would heal, protect, and deliver, Lord God. That, Lord God, that you will set free from anger and rage that will allow us to harm your creation. Have mercy, Father. And, Lord God, we're careful to give you all praise and all honor God and all the glory. And the people of God agreed by saying... sanctuary.
All right, beloved, we will gather for our meeting. We will gather for our meeting. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your, your presence. Lord, have mercy. Thank God for you. Praise ye the Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence for our meeting. Thank you. 